What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another standard video. Today we're going to play a pod deck. I just started the video for you guys. Now we're going to play a pod deck uh, with Prime, Speaker, Vanifar, and Rhythm of the Wild. These are our, our central pieces here. Um, and we're going to... It's kind of a mix of a deck that went 4-5-0 on, on a Magic Online League and also a deck that Sam Black posted. Not Sam Black, Matt Nass posted. So we're kind of like combining the two. To get like the best, or not like maybe not the best, but like a, 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 the most reasonable package here. I don't know if I love the adventurous impulses. It might just be better to have growth chamber guardians. I mean, being able to, yeah, I like, I like that better actually. It's just a better creature, and like sacking your two drop into your mirror image or your three drop. The three drops in the Matt and Nass deck are. Looks like Jade Light Rangers instead of Sailor of Means, which might be better. I also have one Exclusion Mage, which I like a lot. Carnage Tyrant over Dream Eater. Um, I don't think Carnage Tyrant does anything. Like, you really want, like, enter the battlefield effects, I think. Uh, I do like one Skargan Hellkite in the deck, though. Skargan. Put one of those in there. Take out one Siege Gang. I like the versatility of having multiple things, obviously. Biogenic Ooze seems great. There's none in the same blacklist, which is fascinating to me. He also has three Ravager Worms and one Regisar Alpha. Taking those out. Um, how many lands is this? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, four, eight, seventeen. Twenty-three lands. It's not actually a ton. I don't like the Dream Eater though. I do like one Regisar Alpha. I don't think we need two Biogenic Oozes. We can take out a Biogenic Ooze. We're probably just going to put a bunch of, like, one-ofs in the deck because that's kind of cool. Um, Pollock Worms in... Like, is Jade Light Ranger better than Sailor of Means? I'm not sure. Probably. Although we might need a less blue if that's the case. Like, we can add one of these and cut one Sulphur Falls, I think. All right, we can add another Ooze. Like, we have one more slot. We have two more slots, actually, so we get one more slot now. Another, probably one of the Ravager Worm is really where I, where I want to be sitting. Let's try this list. This list will be in the description if you guys are curious. I imagine it's also in deck track. Oh, Hydroid Crassus was a card we wanted, but is that even good in this deck? Are we just playing it to play it? I don't feel like we have a ton of mana. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. It's 23, 23 lands in both decks. I think this is good. Let's go back to the main. Let's go to Constructed Event. Is that is that what it is? And then I click on Constructed Event. And this is best of one, isn't it? Because it's seven wins. Okay, I got to click. Is this... Hmm. This is the, always the hardest part. Uh, traditional ranked, sealed, traditional constructed. There we go. Oh, there is a. There are the druids. Ah. Do we have room for like two crassuses, crassuses in the deck? We'll just call this Rhythm Pod. That's a cool name. One and one seems good. J Light Ranger seems good. Rhythm. We can actually cut one rhythm, I think. We can add Karasis. Cut the alpha? What's the alpha? No, I like the alpha. It gives haste. Well, it gives your other dinosaurs haste anyway. It also makes you a 3 3. I guess we can cut Registar Alpha for another Hydroid Karasis. Alright, that's fine. I can get behind that. 
But so then do we have any dinosaurs in our deck? If we don't have any dinosaurs, then uh, then Drover's just worse. Even though it can make... Yeah, let's actually cut the Drovers now. And we'll add Drover to Cal back. Drover to Cal can block a lot more things. All right, that's gonna be that's gonna be where we're sitting. Sideboard, spell pierce, negate, lava coil, harpooner. Harpooner is nice because you can search for it. Forager is also fine. Very yeah, this side, this sideboard is actually fine. It's nice and versatile. Let's edit this and make you at the top. That seems good. All right, let's try again. Traditional constructed. Like I said, always use these rhythm pod. All right, here we go. Let's do it. I will play first. Land of War Elves? Yeah, this hand seems amazing. Man, breeding pool into Land of War Elves does not seem like standard. This is what a crazy, what a crazy time to be alive. Card don't shoot is who we're playing against. More bong bucks keeping me warm in this winter wonderland. Spicy jalapeno. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Is it incubation druid? It has to be, right? So next thing we can go one, two, three, four, five, tap them all, and then pump this, or we can just play Biogenic Ooze, no blocks. Don't kill my Incubation Druid, bro. They did not. Seems good. I feel like it's just Ooze here. Because next time we can pump this and still play like a Growth Chamber Guardian off of it, so. And this makes two three threes for five. That's This card's nuts, man. Oh wow, they just did they just kill two dudes? Two dudes one stone? Wow. In my face, I guess. I guess we can just play Siege Gang here, right? One, two, three, four, five. Pump this. Yeah, we're just gonna play Siege Gang. And the nice thing about this deck is that it's just all good stuff, right? It's just mono mono good stuff. I was gonna say mono gloops, but then like Oh yeah, that's actually really cool. I like that they played Siege Gang they played Chain Roller here because um, I was really worried that my board would, would present a threat to them. So it's actually really reassuring that it did not at all. So that's cool. I, that's nice. That's really, that's really special. The thing is, if they attack with both, we take four and then we're dead to a... So here's the thing. If, we, if they attack with both and we block here and pump to be able to kill this guy, we take four and go to three, so any one burn spell kills us. If we play this, we can actually block and block and pump, and then we still have... Then we, we're not just dead. Are you more of a Crassus fan or an Ooze fan? Oh, that's a good question. I like them both. 
I think it's actually time to let this go, unfortunately. Anonymous user with the 10 gifted subs. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, uh, all who were gifted subs here. You guys are great. I really appreciate all of it. I don't know uh, what to do, though. So we're going to... Let's pass to blockers. No, we're going to do it the other way. Um, you're going to go here. You're going to go here. Yeah, I don't really want to go to... Yep. Seems good. They never don't have it. Do you remember when they didn't have it? It was never, so you don't. Yeah. This guy's trample? No. Hey, this guy has trample? No. Why do they have so many lightning bolts in the standard? They scare the crowd, wizard's lightning, and lightning strike, right? That's three. Is there, a, is there a fourth lightning bolt in standard? There's a lot of cards we can draw here that do things. That does not happen to be one of them. I'm just going to go to the next game. I don't really foresee us winning this. Is there more than nine lightning bolts in standard right now? Two, eight of which cost a, a pretty astonishing two mana. Or one mana, rather. Take Siege Gang out. <laughs> no, but Shock is powerful. Well, let's not go crazy. Um, God, all these cards are good is the problem. <laughs> Crawl Foragers seems better than Siege Gang. I like the Lava Coils here. Take out one Jade Light. Take out one Scargan Hellkite. Ravager's nice because it fights. So if we're able to get to six, I think that's good. We'll try that. Two Prime Speakers. I got a Jade Light Ranger, and we got Double Green, so we can keep this. I think it's okay. I hope we're not dead. Enter tapped. Mm. All right, well, if they don't have one drop, I'm pretty okay. They play a two drop, we play Jade Light. Then we go Prime Speaker, Prime Speaker. I mean, wow. All right, so. Uh, wow, that is all four of them. Graveyard. It's got to be Graveyard. That's sad. That guy would have been nice to pot into. I guess it's not super sad, right? Cool. Like you do. I was really hoping for a land so we could not have to take two from our own stomping ground here. Wasn't meant to be, guys. We do need one more land so we can go uh, Biogenic Ooze into Armada Worm, Ravager Worm. I don't know what that thing's called. Sure. That's what we're talking about. Are you sure? Yes. Submit. MTG Nerdo, what's going on? 
Uh, I'm going to take this Ravager Worm because that is a solid gentleman. What do we want? Do we want like, no, we just want the counter, right? I don't care about haste in this matchup. Uh, fight a creature I don't control, which is this idiot. That feels good. Unfortunately, we put our one Palaka Worm into the grave, into the trash can, so. Um. This is how you're going to be with your first strike. <laughs> Any lightning bolt and you're just like, oh, I just kill your guy. The games are often better when the mono red deck isn't involved, but here we are. I guess we can just take... because Okay, so here's the thing. If we take three, um, we go to nine, and then they're, they already have... They, they're representing the lightning bolt anyway, so I don't really want to take three here. And then... Also take another three and be at six and be dead to any two two lightning bolt spelly McSpellersons. Can I sack this and make a three drop? So one, two, three, four. Yes, let's do that. I'll gain I'll gain my two back. I'm basically just breaking even here. We can sack this for a mirror image, but that doesn't really do anything because reasons we can sack this guy for an elf i don't think any of these are i don't think these are any any, any of these are great lines here do we have any other cool three drops nothing that profitably blocks a chain roller but the problem is they have five cards magic is hard man uh there is a crawl forager on the sideboard and we boarded it in Unfortunately, this only goes up to, to to a three drop. Actually, this is a fine block. Like we have multiple multiple Vanifars in hand, so if you want to just if we're preventing three and using a getting you to use a burn spell on them, sure. Yep, seems good. I want fetches back in standard. Yeah, when there's fetches and there's shock lands in standard, what a time to be alive. That's really where you want to be. Yep, I'm just going to keep blocking here. <laughs> eh. Now they go uh, chain roller number two. Why did it hit twice? That's fascinating. Like you do. One, two, three, four, five. We can pump this. And then we have four mana, so we can play double double druid after that. I could just exclusion mage bounce this guy. We're at twelve. We're actually pretty safe here. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, they're at eight. We know one of their four cards. Can we just win this game? I don't know. Magic's hard. Uh, that is three of your mana. Uh, have rest. If you decline, your opponent draws three cards. I will take action. Sure. Lightning and Cosmotronic Wave. You can't cast either right now because this is not a wizard. So you have one card that I don't know about? Sure. You got it. What are our four drops we can hit here? That's my question. I guess we're going to find out. I think it's just rekindling Phoenix, which is fine. The problem is now they have like risk factor, wizard's lightning. Hmm. 
Might have just been Alpha. Is Alpha just the better play? Which is just, we, we just won, right? Like, they go block, block, and then they take a million. We probably should have just alpha yeah, that wasn't that wasn't great. See, this is why this is why standard's so hard. This deck is hard to navigate because they have like a million things to do, and I'm just trying to like. I mean, if they go main deck wave, well, this is this is sideboard. This is game two. Like they're they're already up a game, so. I mean, they go wave and then shoot. Yeah, we're actually just dead next turn. Mm-hmm. Ooh. That's a good block. Yeah, that's just game. Oh, we should have just alpha. If we just alpha, I think we win, right? Like they can't take four, so they're automatically at four, and then we have we had four creatures, and they can block two of them, and they're all two power, so I think uh I think I'm pretty sure we gave that game up. But this is like literally the first time we played this deck, so I don't know if we're going to get a better six than this. Well, it's a turn three Vanifar. Not terrible, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Biogenic ooze. Let's play this guy. Yep, seems okay. Ooze seems pretty insane. I don't know. Like, this card seems really strong. Like, if you don't kill it immediately, they get at least a 3-3 out of it. Can't we make another one? Just make another one right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I think that's actually fine. I think that's... I mean, it's a 2-2 becomes a 3-3, and then we have two 4-4s. Four four Sure. They are cruising for an oozing. This is this gets out of hand. I mean, I don't know if they're gonna have a, a main deck answer for four 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 three three. Yep. They have what one three two two spells in their graveyard? Is that just Plocka Worm? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do we just play a Plocka Worm? We have one, two, three, four green. We can also play Jade Light Ranger and make another Ooze, which also seems pretty juicy. No, we can't. We need five green for that. We only have four. That, that was a lie. I lied to you. Like, if they're going to block one ooze, I'd rather than block... Like, if they're going to double block an ooze, I'd rather than block this one than this one. I like I like keeping the ooze trainer alone, but if they play, like, four spells here, I don't want to take them in, and then they activate this guy, too. Like, I really don't want to just die on the spot. So, 
So I kind of like going with the 25 here. Plus this guy has haste, which is kind of nice. So if they don't do anything crazy. Can you guys see the deck in the in the deck master overlay? Is that a thing? Because I know Stream Decker, which is a different app, that does not show the deck. Or it does, it shows the old deck rather. And we won the game. Sometimes you win the game against little Drakey boys. Uh, Exclusion Mage doesn't seem great. I don't really want to bounce their their guys. Maybe Exclusion Mage isn't great in general. I don't feel like there's a lot of cards in Standard where you really like bouncing things. Uh, Ooze is pretty nuts. Vivian Reed's pretty great. Um, I'll take Siege Gang out for Vivian Reed. I see it in game. Or are we not talking about? No, 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 no. We're talking about on the overlay. No, 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 no. I can export the deck, right? I can go to my decks and then export it too. Yeah, this hand seems fine. One drop into two drop. Oh, again, we can't. This rootbound crag is really, it's really busting my balls here. Come on, rootbound crag, get it together. I hope the guilds diversify the format. I hope it doesn't like shake out to be like the same two or three decks. I like it. I like a format with like seven decks, eight decks. Give me a bunch of decks. I want a lot of options to play. And I don't want to feel like it's a rock, paper, scissors format. So. Hmm. Definitely playing you. Probably. Uh, we want, we want double red in case we hit any land. Cause it lets us play Phoenix. Whereas double green's not super important on turn three there. And we also have double green, so. Well, this is going to come into play tapped now, so we actually, we're kind of, this guy, this guy, this guy, and now we got a bunch of mana next turn, we have like 7,000 mana. If we hit a land, we can actually go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, activate this, use the land uh, to cast Vanifar off of an updated, updated uh incubation druid we did not draw the land though so i think we're probably just gonna play ooze what they're gonna play an encounter right i 
Oh, that didn't that wasn't a counter at all. All right. I don't know what they have. This is very fascinating. We go one, two, three, four, five, activate this. No. One, two, three, four. We have six six mana total. We can pay three to this guy. We can go one, two, three, four. We can actually activate this, then activate this. I think getting the ooze down is just better. I think this card is pretty strong here. And if they want to they're gonna now they're gonna counter it. Now they're gonna now they're gonna counter it. What do they got? Three spells, so this guy costs five to make a five five. Interesting. Untap land, maybe? One, two, three, four, five. Actually, we don't need untap land. Oh, cancel, cancel. God, don't do that. Let's say red. So they can actually adapt to this guy EOT. Which they're going to do. We can easily just block and then swing back. Yep, must be nice. Seems good. I mean, we also both have five power on board, so. All right, we're at eight. So one, two, three. And then we have one, two, three, four, five to update. <laughs> he calls the adapting updating. Also, if we can top take a Hydroid Crassus here, holy smokes. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Whew. No game sound. Can you not hear the game sound? I have it. I have it very low. I don't have the music on. We're at three. Do you have any? Is there like a lightning? I don't think they play lightning strike, do they? All right. Oh, wow. They said oops. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. That's an oopsie doopsie right there. We have three, six, seven. Wow. Actually, a good draw. No, please don't use Incubation Druid for that. Wow, why would you do that? Yep, so you block here, you take four. If you hit nothing, we're good. Yeah, that's fine. Come on, we can hit something too, right? No, we cannot. Okay, so you block here, you block here, you take one. Well, that's unfortunate. That is less than ideal.
I like Vivian Reed because she just kills everything. Mirror Image is kind of uh, meh. We'll just bring another Lava Coil into the Vivian Reed, I think. Should be fine. I'm going to keep this rhythm. Yeah, this seems fine. Rhythm seems pretty good. Especially if they're sort of packing some disdainful strokes. Harpooner could have been good, actually. Yeah. I mean, there's a. We could have also added the, the second, the fourth lava coil as well because it just kills everything, but. Now our creatures can't be countered, which is pretty strong. Next time we can go both of these guys. Or we can just make this a hasty boy. So haste. Haste. This is fascinating. Okay, what are we doing after this? We're playing Growth Chamber Guardian, which we have the mana for. So I guess we're just putting... Uh, I guess it's... Yeah, let's make it 1-1 one, one counter, I guess. And then we'll actually just put a 1-1 one, one counter on this guy. To draw another one. Yeah, that seems pretty... That seems pretty good. So now I have 6 mana. We can just hard cast Ravager Worm next turn. Kill this guy, give it haste. That's pretty nice. And it can't be countered. Oh, it has double riot. Oh, God. Oh, that's broken. Hydroid Crassus also has double riot. Wow. Yeah, that's still fine. Okay, well, now you're, now you're just being now you're just being rude. Land? Eh, it's actually still good. Yeah, the fact that Riot Sacks is pretty crazy. All we need is one land and we can play this guy. That's all I want. Come on, we can do it. Oh, Initial Squid is also in our chat, so... Hey, Initial Squid, hope you're enjoying the stream that uh, you're clearly watching right now. Seems good. Gotta get that, uh... Gotta get that MTG Arena value. Yep, cool. <laughs> oh, man.
Cool, good game. It's gotta be rough when you can't win when you're actually watching what your opponent's doing, right? Like that seems, it's like if I played with all my cards on the table at a paper magic event and you still couldn't win. That's weird. <sighs> monovanifar.com <laughs> so zombone one two three four f we can pump this and do nothing else with the mana Hmm. Let me just play you. Run the risk of dying. I mean, I think the deck probably could operate with, with three vannies. Just the, I mean, reason being that, like, the alternative is just cast all your creatures. We're just trying to dodge Assassin's Trophy. Yeah, all right, this is fine. We're just playing some. Uh, oh, I like this. Uh, I like these Cyrillic characters here. That's pretty sick. <laughs> that's actually, that's actually nice. What are we doing here? Uh, playing Growth Chamber guy. We can activate to draw another one. One, two, three, four, five. Pump you. Get three left over. It doesn't let us activate though. So we're probably just gonna go. Two for you. Make a four four. Take the action. Take another one. Yeah, we can just get like a Jade Light Ranger actually. We'll keep that on top. Uh, no attacks. I feel like this deck's probably just going to do something ridiculous out of nowhere. One, two, three, four, five. Pump you. And we have three, four. Arrgh. Still shy. Still shy of all the things that we want to do. I don't actually think we want to pod into anything here. We're probably just going to pod the Jaylight Ranger into, uh, like getting getting more oozes and getting bigger oozes is pretty nice. Oh, initial squid left. That's so sad. Well, now he's banned. Apparently, he was only here because he was. Uh, Unable to win without cheating. That's really sad. God, I'll never get over it, dude. I'll never, like, understand going into someone else's game. Like, hey, I'm playing against this person. Let me open their stream and watch what they're doing so that I can, like, still lose against them because I'm that pathetic of a, of a human being. He was here because he eats his own farts, and we all know it now. Okay, I can, I can actually appreciate that. Hmm. Well, one, two, three, four, five. I keep counting my mana. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can go five, pump you, then it's three, four, five. Why is she a three, five? Is she an ooze? Oh my god. I 
kind of just look at the ooze on the screen. Wow, this is great. I'm gonna get this guy. I'm gonna just get double oozes. We're gonna be oozing all day. Biogenic ooze is not a not a reasonable magic card. Alright, we won that game. I have no idea what was happening, but I feel good about how it happened, I guess. I literally we didn't see enough to like know what they're doing. I think our deck is fine. You know, as it is. Just board state is all I ever want in Magic. Oh boy. Wait, did they just concede the whole match? Wow. All right. I, I don't really like all these hands that don't have ways to play Atlanta War Elves on turn one, but... Whatever. Jade Light Ranger into, or we can just play double. Now we can only play one incub incubation druid. That's a yikes for me, dog. Uh, let's go graveyard because we don't have a thing. We don't have a land that's going to come up. Uh, let's keep that on top. That seems good. Is it reveal? You have to reveal all of them. Reveal the top card? Yeah, so they know we got a Vanifar coming up. Look, pal, I don't come into your home and tell you how to eat farts, so why don't we just stick to what we know? <laughs> oh, God. This is my audience, apparently. Um, crack into a... I think it's just double incubation druid here because let's just play Ravager Worm and if we draw land, Palaka Worm. Sure... Yep, this card's huge now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're just gonna play Palaka Worm. This guy could be a six, so it could actually kill this, but we're not in the business of doing that. We're just, it can't kill the Wild Growth Walker, which is kind of weird. Yep. Definitely killing this guy with the Ravager Worm now. Can we do one, two, three, four, five? We can activate this, and then it's a three, four, five, or one shy.
Tempted to attack here, but then like we have no profitable blocks. I don't think we can attack here. What's D-Munch? <laughs> I'm really sorry about the fart ending thing. Eating thing that is happening now. Got a case of the Wayne Regretskis. <laughs> you know what? It's okay. I'll deal with it. Yep, this is a reasonable sized creature. That is in no way not reasonable. So one, two, three, four, five. Activate, add three. And we have three, four, five. All right. Oh boy, this game is... Wayne, Wayne Regretskis is the best thing I've heard in 2019. I've never heard that before, and I'm, like, pretty blown away by it. Yep, that's the news, Areno. Hmm. We don't have an 8 drop. We don't have a, another 7 drop. I'm pretty sure we just go like one, two, three, Jade Light Ranger. This is, yeah, that's fine. I guess it doesn't, I guess it's not, well, I guess it's not, it doesn't matter. We want to hit lands there. That's dumb. We could mirror image into something. Um, what do we get rid of though? The incubation druid, the, the bad incubation druid, I guess. Yeah, it's like our only two drop here. What are we getting rid of here? The ooze as usual. Well, that's fine because you know how many. It's not fine. It's actually kind of sad. Yep, that is a thing. Hmm. These guys don't have trample, so they're just gonna eat one of these, right? Ah, oh, it's so bad. And then if we, ah, no attacks. I feel like we're just not in a good position here. Can you imagine? Oh, if it isn't Big Choops. Multania, Multani Star of Extinction deck? That's, that's interesting. Yep, this card's not reasonable. And this is making me wish I had regular, some, some mana that I could actually, like a, like a Chupacabra to, to crash into. I don't have a two drop either, so I can't actually. They're probably gonna kill Vanifar, right? Gonna kill that? Isn't this just bigger and better than that? Oh, I guess we draw a card though, so. And they have no dudes with float, so. It is gonna be like that. It is gonna be like that. A weird thing to say. You know what it's like. Is it ooze? Is it siege gang? Oh, how much mana do we have? Like a million? Fabian reads at three. Let's 
So four damage twice. We can do that, right? One, two, three, four. Well, I'm going to strike nature then. They do have a fine burger, which means they can get back their Vivian Reed, but there's nothing we can really do about that. We just having a Vivian Reed on six is probably worse than just forcing them to use fine broker and get back Vivian Reed. Sport states like this are like commander to me. I'm just like, I can't process all this nonsense. There's just too much going on here. I think they they're one mana oh then they have incubation, so they have one, two, three, four, five. Dang it. Fine burger. Welcome. <laughs> Fine burger. Fine burderer. Okay, they didn't get back. What did they get back? I didn't actually see. Oh, the ooze? Sure, that's good. 3-3, three, three, huh? Let me cancel this because I want to use my own mana. 1, 2, 3, 4. Activate to kill this guy first. And this card's actually doing some work here, fascinatingly enough. Uh, do we pod into anything? Maybe pod an elf into a um, growthy boy? This is where they go Assassin's Trophy. Their last card. Oh, it's Cast Down. Sure. So they have no cards in hand. It's actually pretty good. No cards in hand? I feel like we actually definitely have inevitability here then. This game is pretty ridiculous. So 
So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. So we, we lost two, and we had uh, we can so we can deal four damage to things. Probably like shoot these two, shoot this and this. Yeah, these are probably better. I think we actually won this game. Okay, that'll do. Also, we could have dealt four to their face, then six to their face next turn, so ten. They were at 26, I believe, so they would have went to 16. We would have had five, six, seven, eight, nine on board, so they would have went to seven. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I can see why Rekindling Phoenix is definitely a more of more of than two I, it is don't care about crawl harpooner is there anything in our main deck that we just don't exclusion mage seems bad like there's like I said there's very few creatures in standard I really want to just bounce lava coil however seems very very good we also did not see a hydroid crisis at any point I'll rip my wild card. Like, the deck seems super fun. We also didn't see Rhythm of the Wild at all, so. Mirror Image was pretty nice. Uh, it was nice to just have it as a one of. Let's take out one Jade Light Ranger, add another Lava Coil. Mono Oozes. Manuses, if you will. Uh, this hand would be great if this was actually a stomping ground. Then we can go this guy. Yeah, this is better. Um, What's our plan here? We go turn one this guy, turn two this guy, turn three. Pr yeah, actually, I mean, this is actually a fine keep. We can attack for four, pot it into a six drop if we really want to. Mass Manips? <laughs> what do you mean from this stream? What does that mean? One, one, two, three, four. Sure, that's actually very good. What? You didn't keep Hostage Taker. One, two, three. Charlie Wayne, thanks so much for the sub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Four months. Good times. Let the good times roll. I'm really surprised you put a hostage taker in the graveyard, but I guess you didn't know we had this. And a Vraska. And a Crassus. Wow, all the MVPs are going to the trash can. Fascinating. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five. Oh boy. Uh, let's go haste. Right, we can take both of them out. I don't want them to block, to be honest with you. I'd rather just use this and get a Palaka Worm out of it. Should there be an 8 drop in the deck? I don't know. I gotta let my doggos out, but I don't want to miss any of this game. Yeah, this game has actually been very, very good. Oh, wow. What are you? What's going on with this trash can you got here? Why are all your things going into it? One, two, three, four, five. Pump this to three. Play an elf. Oh, 
Oh, are we getting this, the the double block and draw? Oh yes. I am so game. We don't have an eight drop to pot into, so that is actually nice. All right. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm actually just going to pass here. Cascading and living end is what I feel like. I'm like, you just put like Vivian Reed, Jade Light. What is it? Crassus for six? For four? Sure. That's fine. So. Uh, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So eight. Brrr. Mine's a little bigger. It's not a contest, guys. It's not about who's... Oh, they don't have any black mana. That's that's relevant. But they only had Veraska and Hostage Shaker in the graveyard. Now they have black mana. Now they have black mana. Also, dropping a with Rhythm of the Wild here into uh, potting into whatever... Let's get one haste, one counter. Eh, we're gonna do this anyway. <laughs> Take action. Get him. Upon oh, yes. I hate doing it. I'm sorry, buddy, but Ravager Worm is more relevant here. I feel like we're doing all the things. Uh, no, because you want to give Prime Speaker Vanifar haste. That's really what you want to do. You want to go turn turn two or three rhythm into turn four, haste this up, and actually start potting immediately. Plus, giving your guys haste and, and the counter to do their abilities is also pretty insane. I almost want a second Palaka Worm, but if, I know it's bad. Like, I know you never want to draw it, and, like, you just... If it's in your hand, it's worse than, like, potting into it when you have a six drop, but... It's greedy. I mean, it was a, we got a little roughed up against the mono red deck, but I feel like we're in good shape now. What do you even take here? How much mana do you have up? You have four, so you take Prime Speaker? Sure. That's fine. Yep. Wow. <laughs> like that'll do, buddy. That'll do. All right. Wow, a Ravager Worm. A Ravager. It's not called Ravager Worm. What is it? What is it called? Is it Ravager Worm? I don't even know. I don't even know how magic works, man.
Oh, finally. Yeah, actually, oh, no red. Whatever, I'll keep it anyway. We got a bunch of action here. We're going to draw Sulphur Falls and not be able to play Rhythm on turn two. You guys ready? Well, we're just going to draw Rhythm on turn two, I guess. Actually, Enrace Forerunners might be insane in the deck. That's actually an interesting 8-drop. Because they get into these board stalls. Where you... All right. <laughs> oh. I'll... Okay. That was fascinating. And we're killing it. All right, it seems good. Um, yeah, this is fine. Yeah, but couldn't you just play, like, a ranked game to do that? Why would you play your... Wow, that was a great draw. Oh, dog, I'm so bad at this game. I hate Magic the Gathering so much. No, I don't. It's a good game. Wow, that was bad. Wow, I just hit the wrong button. Wow, could have had turn two rhythm into, like, infinite other things. Okay, well, rhythm sticks anyway, I guess. Whew. All right, I don't think we're penalized for it, which is nice. Is this a gate deck? Are we playing the gates? We are playing the gates, my dude. One, two, three, four, five. We have six mana total. We can go exclusion mage. Siege gang commander seems pretty insane here. Yeah, one one counters. No, oh, non token creatures. Oh, that's rough. I guess it's fine. Oh, uh, no blocks. Let's actually go haste here. So we can go one. We can mirror image siege gang here, which is pretty sweet. One, two, three, four, five, six. They have gates ablaze though, so it's probably not super wise. But then all of our three threes survive. No, our three these don't survive. It's not two damage, it's five damage. Yeah, that's rough. Yep, to the surprise of, of absolutely no one. All right. I mean, all of our creatures have trample, and or, or haste, rather. Giving all your creatures haste is just unbelievable. Like, and also when you don't need the haste, giving them a second ability is also pretty ridiculous. I play ranked games to finish my quest. Yeah, it's like the thing is, if I'm in an, if I'm in an event like in an event like this, like where it's like five rounds and like the prizes are dependent on your win, like I don't want to like 
I don't want to use one of those matches for my for my quest games. Like that's kind of silly. See, this is nice because Vanifer becomes... So we can just go Growth Chamber Guy, mimic a Growth Chamber Guy. They have to block here. What can we get for a two drop? Oh, if we actually pumped, we would have won, right? Oh, dang it. I messed up. I messed up, guys. Yeah, I messed up. Just play two hasty. Well, yeah, no. Um, yeah, nah. uh, we're going to haste this one. Yeah, that was rough. Oh, uh, graveyard land Let's still win please acknowledge lethal solid memes solid memes Okay, so this deck has really big idiots and gaty things. I like negate here because of Gates of Blaze, which is just unbeatable at a certain point in the game. I don't know if Lava Coil is great. I don't know how to beat the the friggin' worm is or the the gate the ram is really hard to deal with, surprisingly. Uh, keep. Oh, we can graveyard one of these. Draw the other. All right. All righty then. This is where they go, Gate, Rammy, Rammy Boy. We are going to top deck a nice juicy lava burst, lava flow, bursty flow. I don't actually think we put lava flow in the deck. We just put two negates in because, yep, that is a 4-4, four, four, which is, believe it or not, difficult to deal with. This is where they go Gates of Blaze for... Nope, Gross Barrel. Okay. Okay. I was a fan of Bounce, but yeah, Ram beats down. I mean, it's just Bounce only takes care of it once. Three, four, five. Is it worth just double blocking here? I, mean, I think that's actually fine. I mean, we have a great hand here.
Hmm. One, two, three, four. So we can actually play a growth chamber and incubation guy. And we're just keeping our fingers crossed that they don't happen to have Gates of Blades in hand. That's, like, all we can do. Oh, actually, because of the, I, I didn't actually consider Gate Colossus. I only considered Guild Summit. So because of this, I'm actually real tempted to bring in Vivian Reed. So now we're definitely bringing in Vivian Reed. I'm going to take the mirror image out for a reclamation sage as well. Yeah, that's probably going to be the end. I mean, if we can draw land here. It's actually not bad. We can take a hit, then we can copy it. Why not just auto tap? Why tap these when they can tap any color? Oh, good taste. Yeah, this is this is good. All right, so they have infinite enchantments and uh, artifacts. So, okay, mirror image can come out for Rex Age. I don't think Siege King is actually great here. We can bring in Vivian Reed. Probably want to take out one Druid for another Vivian Reed. Maybe Exclusion Mage isn't terrible. Snap keep. Oh, I like that. That's strong. Would love to hit a land here. We did.
I'm just going to use negate now. Like, it prevents them from... Play. Breeding pool? Interesting. It prevents them from adding another land and it prevents them from drawing a card. So if they're actually like... Wow, stomping ground for another two life. Interesting. Gates of Blaze deals one. So that's going to be very exciting. Okay. Well, we do want land here. My friend collects different kinds of worms. What a weird thing. That's just a weird sentence to read. Sure. That is a 3-3. Three, three. Seems really weird for the gate deck to only have one gate. That seems pretty bad. Even Gates of Blaze, if you play Gates of Blaze here, it's only a two damage spell, which doesn't kill really anything. They don't have another gate here. I feel like we're way ahead. Because we will be. Oh boy. Well, we're one man away from playing that guy. So you actually have to block the 4-4 four, four and a 3-3, three, three, right? Because then otherwise you go to 1. Still only two gates. Or one gate, actually. So even if another gate, you just... We still got a 4-4 four, four and a 3-3. Three, three. And you can't go, like, Growth Spiral, Gate, Gate for three, because that still leaves this guy alive, so... Okay, well, this is a... I was going to play this guy, but then I'm like, I don't want to be the guy that just plays all the... Oh, I still had all these, so... Chainers, Torment. Five wins. Got there. Right of Bells and Lock. Dragon's Horde. And an Urza's Tome. Wow, that was my prize. That was terrible. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you guys are watching on Twitch or... Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, rather, you can check me out in the description. The links are in, in the description for Twitch and Patreon. You can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. Uh, you get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. I will also have this list in um, the description below if you guys are curious about it. It was kind of a mishmash of multiple Vanifar decks, but it kind of went well, and I liked being able to see what did and didn't work. So, uh, yeah, be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons. Give me a subscribe on YouTube. It really helps me out a ton. And uh, you can check that little bell notification, bell icon, so you'll get notifications whenever I go live. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate you watching. Have a great day. Have a great day.